Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be doing a day in life and get ready with me. So, before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe. First off, I just laid out what the clothes I'm wearing, and I'm going to brush out my hair, because it's really naughty. So yeah, I'm just going to do that, and then I'm going to get into the shower. But yeah, I'll see you guys when I am dressed. So, I just got out of the shower, and I got dressed, so I'll show you guys the fit in a second but I just use the thing to kind of contain my hair and I'm gonna need to dry it because I think I'm gonna curl it maybe we'll see how it works out and I just use this like tree hat tropical glow lotion so yeah it matches the sugar scrub that I have so I just use that and I already brushed my teeth so I think I'm gonna start to dry my hair but first let me show you guys like what I'm wearing so today I'm wearing this like I don't even know like it's just like a uh, it looks like a Simply Southern shirt, but it's from somewhere we went and then just have my black Lululemon shorts on. But yeah, simple day. And then I'll show you guys the shoes when I'm leaving. But right now I think I'm gonna dry my hair so I can curl it, but yeah. I will show you guys when I'm done. My hair is halfway done drying and I'm gonna use my Chris and S leave-in conditioner. So I just go and spray like maybe four or six times. I don't really know. I just kind of spray it so I feel like I've covered all my hair. And it just makes untangling and my hair not a mess tomorrow. I finished with that and I also use this little stick that can't be it to also rub it in. But now I use my Brightening Eye Cream by Sephora. Looks just like that and you just go. Now I keep looking over here because it's like my little mirror. But I just kind of go and dab it under my eyes. Okay, that's way too much. Whoa. And also... I am getting over cold, so if I sound sick, that's why. And then, I don't really know what we're doing today, but we're celebrating, like, birthdays for my family. Mine's, like, in February, so I'm not doing that. And then I use a Venient, a V, no, Radiantly Positive. But we're celebrating our, like, birthdays from October to December. So, yeah, because there's so many. And I'm going over to my uncle's house, and we're going to, like... I guess he's gonna grow something, and yeah, we're just gonna, I guess that's when we give our birthday gifts to them. But yeah, that's what I'm doing today, and it's like, hold on, sorry, I don't even know what time, but I think it's like 10 something, and we have to leave at 11, so I'm kind of on a little time crunch because of curling my hair, so I might just have to straighten it, but we'll see how the time goes. Now on to my like. Okay, for my mascara, I use three steps. So first up, I just use like a eyelash like brush and just brush them apart that way they're not clumped up so you don't get clumpy mascara and I just use this one. And then second off, I use an eyelash curler and then I use my mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes and then I'll show you guys when I'm done. This is what looked like before. So I'll show you guys the after. So for like a comparison, I just curled that eye and I've not done that eye yet. I just finished with that, and I went to put on my mascara, and I used the Full and Soft by Maybelline New York. The label kind of rubbed, whoa, rubbed off, but I'm going to try to get it open. This is what the brush looks like, but yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put that on, and I'm going to show you guys when I'm done. So, this is the waterproof version of the mascara, but I prefer waterproof sometimes because I like to touch. I don't know why, but I like to rub my eye. So it always smears, so I found that waterproof smears less. So I don't have to worry about that as much, but yeah. And if I have clumps of mascara, like I do on the side, I go ahead and just brush it out again, and it gets rid of those clumps. Okay, so now I just put on my deodorant in this Fiji body spray. Now I'm going to try to finish drying my hair to see if it'll dry. I just finished drying my hair, and I'm going to brush it out but I think I'm gonna have to do the ends again because every, does this happen anywhere else or is it just me? Every time after you dry your hair and then you brush it, magically your hair gets wetter, more wet. Like, please, please explain to me. How does that happen? But yeah, so now I'm gonna dry the ends again and I should be ready to curl my hair. Now I'm gonna curl my hair.